equals dr is percent equals base times base. You can also remember this as... Oh! Pan is eat bread! Why'd you steal that? I don't know. Hey! Hey, why'd you steal that? I don't know. do it. Hello. So, you want to know what 9% of 52 is? Got to go through four steps. First, get your formula, which is P equals BR. Second, plug in the numbers. P is equal to 52 times 9%, which is also 0 point, er, 0.09. So, when you multiply that, that is equal to 4.68. Okay, so you want to know what percent of 185 is 148? You got to go through five steps. It's a little more intense, you know. So, you got your formula for the first step. Then you plug in the numbers. 148 is equal to 185R. And then, R is equal to 148 over 185 because you divided this, this by that, or this by that. Now, for step 4, the answer, r equals 0.8, but you can't say 0.8, that's not a percentage. So, the resulting answer, r is equal to 80%. And pandas like toast. Fred, Fred. Shut up. <laughs> Blair bought a sweater at a 20% discount. If she paid 36 for the sweater, what was the original price? Hmm. Alright, so how do you do it? So, there is an easy formula for, that you pr probably should remember. So, it is the amount of discount, which equals the original amount, times the discount. So let's flip it over. Shabam. Alright. So, the problem asks for the original price of the sweater. So let X the original price. Oh, let X be the original price. Then X minus 36 is equal to the amount of the discount. <laughs> so, third step. X minus 36 is equal to X times 20%. Buttered toast. Now, put 20% into a fraction and simplify like previous equations. X, as you know, is equal to 45, which you probably don't know. Now, check your work by multiplying the percent by the result, and you will see what you found. Murray invests part of $9,000 in bank accounts that pay 6% 6 6 simple annual interest, and the rest in bonds that pay 11% simple annual interest. How much moolah is invested in each way of his total annual income from these investments is $890. So, how do you do it? The butter toast man with gravy? Bread on? man. Shut up. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, as you can see, a bunch of words here. So let's flip it over the back for the actual word description. Yeah, it's upside down. Yeah. Okay. So, the problem asks, for the amount of n money invested in bank accounts and in bonds. So, let X equal the amount invested in bank accounts, then 9,000 minus X equal the amount invested in bonds. Now, when you do that, so the total interest is equal to the interest from the bank accounts plus the interest from bonds. So, in equation form, that would be 890 is equal to X times 6% plus 9,000 minus X times 11%. 
Now, turn the percents into decimals and solve the equation. Thus, x is equal to 2,000 and 9,000 minus x is equal to 7,000. Now, check the results. Murray invested $2,000 in the bank and $7,000 in bonds. Are you happy now? Know what the equation means. <laughs> oh, dude, sorry. I wish you could see my mouth. I really want to be like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like the ages of this now. Go. So. Do I press calm down? Do you ever wonder if what 525 percent? Five hundred twenty five seconds. <laughs> there we go. All right, and action. So, you want to know what a percentage of eighty uh, percent? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, stop, 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 stop. All right, all right. So.